Okay, this is where we get things going. When you get your PC board made or whatever circuit you end up putting together, mine looks like this. Turned out pretty good. Put some real low wattage light bulbs in and uh, pull up the KCAM software. Set the um, steps per inch for 1000 in the table setup and then go in here to the uh, CNC controls and set the single step for 0.001 and then when you click on these yellow buttons uh, it should make things step. Um, hook up your parallel port to the motor and this is what I use for a power supply. Of course it's cheap and um, if something goes wrong you don't burn out something expensive. Here's what happens when this is a little tester uh, just an LED with a 10k resistor on it and we can track down some signals in our circuit with this. I set up the software and start clicking on these arrows and you see the steps increment. So we'll put the little LED, this is the uh, power pin uh, 16. Look to see that the little light comes on and then you know you got power. You should see just a little blink in the light uh, on pin 15 each time you tell it to step. And then on pin 11 you should see the light blink every other step or change. And then uh, on pin 6 you should see the light change every time you click the step arrow. Now we're going to look at pin 1 of the 4028 chip and you'll see it blink just once uh, each time the motor makes four steps. Okay, so you got that working and now if you find out that your motor like takes two steps forwards and one step backwards you need to switch the uh, wires on the motor and you have to do this maybe several times to get all the wires in the right places but you should every step should increment the motor in the same direction then you're in pretty good shape well um, switch the software over to uh, jog mode instead of single step and click the arrow button and ouch see the thing go around there. Ready to rock and roll.